No leads from any of the other neighbors. What are you drinking? Oh, Mrs. Bernstein gave me some apple cider. She saw my video. Anyway, she also told me about what happened. Mr. Williams next door is the one who discovered the arm. He was walking his dog around 10 p.m. when he started barking like crazy and then ran off in Ace's yard. And let me guess, brought his owner back a skeletal arm treat. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Pretty big hole for just an arm, no? My dad says Ace should be able to post bail tomorrow. His arraignment will be in a few days. Hopefully that gives us enough time to prove he's innocent and they'll have no choice but to drop the charges. Did you hear that? It's 10 p.m. Exactly when Mr. Williams' dog started barking and ran off last night. Hey, look at all these. Dozens of complaints from the past couple nights about dogs barking in this neighborhood. In various spots, including this one. What time were the complaints made? Right after 10 p.m., every one. I'm thinking we follow those dogs. Tell me you're not blaming yourself for what happened to Ace. Well, of course I'm blaming myself. I found these bodies weeks ago instead of taking on a bunch of small-time cases to pay the bills. Ace wouldn't be in jail right now. You sure that's all it is? What else would it be? Listen, Ace, Ace is a mess. I've had my heart broken before, but man, if I have to hear about how his barometer shattered one more time, then... What is that? That a footprint? Nobody stole that body. It rose from the grave itself.